Hello everybody! Today we're going to practice using parallel lines to prove other things are congruent or supplementary. So in all of these proofs you will be given that two lines or more than two lines are parallel. Before you even start anything, we got to develop a game plan. So that means look at the given, decide what you know, and then go to your diagram and mark anything that you can. So in this case, I noticed that lines T and H are parallel. So I'm going to mark that, and then I'm going to start seeing, is there anything else that I know? And is there anything else that I can figure out based on the fact that these are parallel lines? So right away, something jumps out to me. I can see vertical angles right here, angles 1 and angle 3. So if you see something like that, it's a good idea to add these little R marks on your picture so that you can see that they're the same. Okay, now I must have to use these parallel lines somehow. And because these lines are parallel, I can see a relationship between angles 2 and 3. Those are both on the interior of parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal, so that makes them supplementary. So I'm going to make a note to myself that these are supplementary angles 2 and 3. Also, 3 is the same as 1, so there you go. I just got my game plan to show how 2 and 1 are supplementary. So once you get, develop a game plan or brainstorm, then you're going to go down to your two column proofs and start organizing your thoughts formally. So we always start with the given, that's the easiest one. And then I would start putting your statements in any logical order that you can see. So I would start with 1 and 3 are congruent because that was the easiest one for me. The reason, vertical angles, congruent. After that, then I was able to see angles 2 and 3 are supplementary. The reason why those are supplementary is because these lines were parallel. So I start my statement off with, if lines parallel, then. Then I need to ask myself, well, what types of angles are angles 2 and 3? Because they're both on the interior, same side, that would be called consecutive interior. Well, now this statement looks really close to what we're trying to prove. The proven statement is asking us to prove 1 and 2 are supplementary. Here we have 2 and 3 are supplementary. So if I take this angle 1 and substitute it in place of angle 3, it will match the statement that I'm looking for. So now angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary by substitution. And now I'm done because my last statement matches what we're trying to prove and there's nothing left to do. Okay, let's try one more that's a little bit more difficult. This next one has two sets of parallel lines. These are a little bit harder because now we have 16 different angles. So on a question like this, it's really, really important that you don't jump right to the proof, you develop a game plan, you brainstorm some method or a pathway that you can take to get to the proven statement. So once again, go ahead and mark your diagram with the lines that are parallel. Then we start getting the game plan. So Make note of what you're trying to get to. You're trying to show that 1 and 12 are the same. Right now, there's no way we could do that because they're formed by two different sets of parallel lines. So we need to figure out a path. When you're doing this, I would always recommend choose one set of parallel lines. So I'm going to start at 1, which is formed by line B and L. So I'm going to choose A and B 
as my first set of parallel lines and line L as my first transversal. So that means I'm just going to cover up M, get rid of it for a second, and only look at these eight angles up top. What other angles are the same as angle one? Well, three because it's vertical. That might not help us too much. Five is corresponding. Or you could say seven is alternate exterior. I'm going to go with seven. Lucky number seven. So I'm going to say one and seven are the same because they're alternate exterior angles. Okay, now I can bring line M back into the picture. So it's kind of like I just hopped from one to seven. Now, are there any lines that are the same as angle seven? I'm sorry, are there any angles the same as angle seven? Well, let's do the same thing. Cover up the line B, just focusing on these two parallel lines. I can see seven and 12 are corresponding, which is good news for us because that means we just showed if one is the same as seven, seven is the same as 12. That means one is the same as 12 by substitution. So my game plan's done, I have a plan, I know what I'm gonna do, now I go to my proof. So I start with the given, then I start listing out the steps that I brainstormed in my game plan. So first I said one and seven are congruent because if lines are parallel, alternate exterior angles are congruent. After that, then I said seven and 12 were the same. And again, the reason was because these lines were parallel. But this time they were in the same position. 7 and 12 are in the same position. So that's called corresponding. Okay. I'm really close. I have 7 is congruent to 12, but I want 1 is congruent to 12. So notice, same idea as the last one. I'm just going to take that angle one because it's the same as seven and substitute it in right here. And that's how you use parallel lines to prove that angles are congruent or supplementary. Thanks for watching.